everybody sing that shit. What up guys, it's your boy New Teddy Era, and today I'm coming at you with a real quick video. There's a deck profile of my Paleozoic Frogs with a little tech. Um, I made it more for the new ban list, the emergency ban list that is released, you know, with the hit to Norden and things like that. Yeah, it doesn't hurt Paleozoics, but I figured with Grass going to 1, the 60 card deck is not as good. So, here comes a 40 card Paleozoic Frog deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we have first of all three Swap Frogs. You know, of course, in Paleozoic Frogs, you need the Swap Frog, the best one. Um, if you see this early game, you usually win, if anything. So three Swap, three Dupe, of course, two Rodin. Um, in the 60 card variant, I did run three but two i think is the perfect number because it gets kind of cloggy and dd crow is not as relevant as it once was in the format so yeah and then my tech i played two barrier um the water one because if they're not playing pelios they're they really don't special summon anything so this gets over the meta a lot um zoo is shot by this, they will literally have to summon Theroblade and attack, and that's about it, or whip tail and attack. But since you play so many traps, this card is really good. And I only run it at two because you don't want to open multiples. If you do open it, it's great, but you really want to open up your other frogs like Swap and Dupe. Um, the last monster is Maxi. All right, on to the spells. I play one main deck, Regeki. The reason I play the main deck Regeki because of Masterpiece and things like that. So you have to play that. Um, Masterpiece to me is really not a problem, but it does get in the way. So I have to main deck some type of out for it. Um, three Pot of Desires, of course, because you need to get into your cards. So three of the MST. Three of the Paleo uh, Book of Moon. Three of the Karma Cut. Two of the Foolish Burial. Um, I did have it at three in the 60 card deck again. But um, I felt like bringing down the number is perfect at two. Because you still want to see it. Um, because of a trap card I play. I'll show you in a second. I play one of the uh, Burial. I guess from a different dimension. The one that returns one from the Banished area. And it's good because of... Uh, because a pot of desire you get back if you milled if you banish something you really need it. Um one compose. I really like compose because it's a one card answer to a lot of things. Um if they didn't tribute the, the trap for um for masterpiece and makes it unaffected by traps, this card gets over it easily. A lot of problematic cards this can handle so. Um, three strikes and three lost win. Lost win is the the card I play for um for the the foolish burial. So lost win I feel like it's pretty good, but against the dinos, if they're not playing lost world, um it's really good in every matchup. Uh, three wabaku. I did take out uh dimension barrier because it's only good in. The Zodiac matchup, but a lot of people are playing um, Dino um, Masterpiece dot deck, you know, True Draco deck. So Wabaku Lost Wins, that all really helps. And then the last card I love right now, it's been helping me like crazy, Storming Mirror Force. I know it's the ugly rarity, but <laughs> it is what it is. So it's 40 cards main deck. Um, I'm going to show you the extra. The extra is really standard. Um, there's, there's like five slots you can mess around with in certain numbers. So, um, three totally awesome, two blue, and three orange, open Benia. I feel like open Benia is one of the greatest cards ever made for this deck, other than totally awesome, of course. Um, those are the only ones you really make anytime. Sometimes, Digusto Phoenix, um... F-Zero, Sky Cavalier, um, 
number 45. This cut this card actually came in handy against uh spirals a couple times, but yeah. Um the OTK piece, cat shark, and gotcha gotcha. The reason I play the gotcha gotcha, I know you guys are gonna be like, what the hell? But I play the gotcha gotcha because it powers up my monster and it doesn't die, so you know, making a toad twenty six hundred is pretty good. And the last card is Downer Magician to Pierce. 15 and an extra. And this is my side so far. Um, I haven't taken this to a tournament. I'm waiting for this weekend to really test the deck. Other than, you know, testing at home with my friends and things like that. So, two Twin Twister. One Dark Hole. Two um, Slumbers. Four Kaijus. As you can see, is a trend. is all to beat. The true Draco matchup. Um, and then for Rogue, you know, the three barriers, um, two anti-spell, and Imperial Order. Um, the side deck you couldn't mess around with. Um, but right now, I'm really liking the side deck choices. Um, it helps me out in every single matchup. Um, I think Paleozoics are really, really good for the meta right now. So... If you want, guys, test this deck out. And remember, we're Team Hit 'em, and history is what we're making. Peace, guys.